So you've got a custom mechanical keyboard, but you want to make it better. You want a nice, even typing experience. And you want it to have a nice flex, but you don't want to have to pay a bunch of money or buy a new board. Boy, do I have the solution for you. Duct tape. Now you might be thinking, hey, how is this going to possibly help create a more even typing sound and a little bit of flex? Well, if you stick to the end of the video, I'll show you how to do it. And for this video, I'm going to be using the Tofu 65 with a brass plate. You can do this mod on any board that uses standoffs, which are essentially these little screw holes that your board sits on. So if you've got a board that looks anything like this once you take it apart, then you can do this. Now, I'm also going to be doing a plethora of other mods on this board. But first off, since I am using a aluminum case and a brass plate, this board's going to be pretty pingy. So I'm going to be doing two things to fix that. The first mod that I'm going to be doing is called the force break mod. And that is where you put a piece of tape in between two pieces of your case. It doesn't have to be like a weight on the bottom like it is for me, but it essentially stops the sound from traveling through the whole board and especially those pingy sounds. Now, because this board is really hollow on the inside, I could use almost anything to fill it up. I could use some silicone, I could use some thin foam, I could use some thicker foam, really almost anything to just get this board a little bit more full. But for me, I'm actually going to be using some paper. And I know you might be thinking, what? Paper? Why would I do that? Well, paper is actually pretty dense and almost everyone has it. So you can use any type of paper, but I'm going to be using this sheet that I just cut out. I taped it together and it has quite a few layers and essentially the tape is there just to keep it all together so it's easy to put in and out of my case. Now you might be wondering, hey, why is there an area under your space bar that's not covered up? Well, that's actually because I think it sounds really awesome when a space bar sounds completely different than the rest of the keys. So what I'm going to be doing here to create that is I'm going to be using paper under the whole board and then I'm going to be using some foam under just that space bar to create a different sounding space bar which I think sounds absolutely amazing and it really makes a pop in your board. For good measure I'm also going to throw some foam across the whole board using tissues just a little bit to create a nicer sound to eliminate any hollowness that might be left. Now for the part you've all been waiting for, it's time for the duct tape friction fit. So if I throw this board in right now, as you can see, it's really wobbly. Everything's going to fall apart when I come take it apart and really just not the best experience. So how am I going to use duct tape to help? What I'm going to do is take a strip of duct tape and fold it up and put it around the edge of the board. So for the Tofu 65, there is not too much space, so I really only needed a few layers of duct tape on the top and bottom in order to fit it. I would recommend putting some masking tape on your PCB before putting the duct tape to make sure you don't damage anything. But as you can see, now that I've fitted in, it's got a nice tight secure fit and it won't be falling out anytime soon. Now it's time to put the board all together. So for switches, I'm going to use some Gateron Speed Silvers. These are on the clackier end of switches. And it's time for keycaps as well, so I'm going to do a little bit of magic. I chose the Domaki Villa keycaps, which are just a pretty nice cherry profile set of keycaps. Before we get into the sound test, I do want to say this is a new channel and subscribe for Banana. Alright guys, and as you can see, the board does have quite a bit of flex here, kind of hard to see. Um, but it is there and it sounds absolutely amazing.